wife of Bauchi Governor Aisha Bala Mohammed's convoy trapped on bad road within states and forced to walk in mud water. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> road with refuse to do. <laughs> eh? They can't have a taste, bitter taste of what it looks like when it rains. You know the detail. A video and several pictures posted on social media platform on Saturday showed her convoy was trapped on the flooded and poorly maintained road, resulting in an SUV convoy being immobilized. The convoy of the Bauchi State First Lady, Hajiya Aisha Bala Mohammed, has reportedly trapped in flood water on her way to commission a healthcare center in the Jamdan area of the state. A video and several pictures Pictures posted on social media platform on Saturday show that her convoy was trapped on the flooded and poorly maintained road, resulting in her SUV convoy being immobilized. The first lady the photograph showed was forced to step out of a vehicle as she walked through the water to reach her destination. The, high, the incident highlights the pressing issue of infrastructural development and the need for improved road conditions in the region. Meanwhile, the pictures have elicited reactions from Nigeria, who describe the situation as unfortunate. They noted that they spell the fact that the first lady and her family had been around, they left the road unfixed, depicting a development that characterized the plight of Nigerian rural dwellers. They have been around the corridors of power for years, more than any tribe, but Naden still suffer pass. A Nigerian social media user said, she added, engaging in open discussions about government and its action is vital for a healthy democracy. It is great to see people using social media to bring attention to important issues and hold leaders accountable. Now, the thing is, it's this one sweet meal. We, I just, I, I say, make I thank God on their behalf, say, the water will be down, we say they carry people. Yes. You go to communities and you see, just imagine, now, firstly, the 90s person be this particular road. Now, so people they ply them every day if rain fall. That is how whatever they are feeling, eh? The people have felt it. They don't feel them plenty, plenty, plenty. You are in power. Even if not be all the road, then go do. But see this one. Then suppose I don't understand. Wasn't the local government chairman of this particular um, uh, uh, area they do? What did they do? Now, this one, they're supposed, as in, what they call a sap, as soon as possible. They don't commence the work, make sure, say, this particular, uh, this thing, they okay. No jokes. Let's have few what others go through. Exactly my point. I say, she, she's almost thank or say, you know, beyond those ones, we say they even, uh, what's it called? The water, they, they heavy, where they carry people safe. Mm. I love her the determination to reach out to remote rural areas. She did go we should reach out to remote. She did go commission one health care. And I'm saying for you to even build health care for this kind of route. <laughs> health center. She can decide not to go further. Nobody could have questioned her, but she went through the mode and felt the impact as well, which is commendable. Okay. I just hope that she going through it, it will give her first an experience and it will give her, you know, something to uh, go back, go tell her. Uh, you know the governor of um, Bauchi State, uh, brother. I I witnessed and I experienced this first, and so we should do something about it. All right, this is good. The thing they are doing, people not knowing they do it themselves, we will only be victims of it. Do road, no. <laughs> okay, it is a welcome development. Let her feel what we feel daily. Good one. Let her husband do the needful. Oh, congratulations to her and her husband. Nice one, they should also feel what we are feeling. This is what everybody is saying. Congratulations to Bauchi State, Nigeria. Nice one, they should off enjoy the offer while it lasts. It is a welcome development. Let her share in the joy of the masses. No be small joy, you. No be small in the joy of the masses. Thank Almighty. Dear Lord, we thank you again. Let her husband construct the road immediately. All right? I believe your husband cannot risk his life going through all this because of some common Nigerian women has passion than men. Hmm. Well, if you look at it though, it is actually commendable, Sha. That is, if she really got to a destination, if she no reach halfway, can't talk, so I no go again. If she really got to a destination and naturally attended the event, then it is plausible. It is applaudable. 
You understand? Uh -huh. That's oh, even after you see the road, no good. You still, you know, you enter the rain, I the water. You enter them, then you go look for. No, no. All right. But you get a taste of what the people who voted them passed through on a daily basis. Okay. I wish they'll be experiencing it regularly. I believe her husband will act immediately a swing into action. The road contract should be awarded without delay. To me, exactly, because the way where they even see you see the road safe go. <laughs> that particular route. <laughs> okay. Let her enjoy the muddy water. Maybe it's more enjoyment. She's not forced to work, please. It's her choice to do so. Let her governor's wife feel fresh air. I beg. Eh? Fresh air, I mean. Okay. But now Nigerians have been working on the most since, so she does not inspect. Exactly what I'm trying to say. Exactly what I'm trying to say. Not going back because of a bad road is inspirational, especially for a second term first lady. Good job. Eh? For a second term first lady, it is inspirational. Inspirational, be. Okay. Mm. All right. What do you expect before people without shame? So maybe we still come and defend them. Yes, now people who are saying, uh, after all, she no go back. My own is the local government, uh, what's it called, chairman of a council. We are the person there. One thing about this life is that the rich cannot fly off forever. There must be common things shared together with the poor. Imagine even the rich and the poor is the same for alphabet. <laughs> all right. Very good. When she gets home, she will not let her husband sleep until he addresses the road matter. This is the only thing I'm taking home from here. Yes. Nigeria, my country. Hmm. It is well. Oh. Very good. I was trapped in worry. Beneath Federal Highway. Everybody could collect. At the end of the day, if they do the road well, make the roads day very okay, then what next? All right. This is a good lesson for all those in power to learn about the common citizens, what they are suffering as a result of their poor perform performance and corrupt practicing by bezeling the public funds. Hardworking First Lady, numerous construction is assured in the area. Congratulations to the community. Great, but if in all this she failed to influence the government to build the particular route, then it is all rubbish eye service. Congratulations, Ma, you have benefited from a wickedness of your husband, the governor. That is good. They should also experience a bad day sometimes. Maybe they might do well. <laughs> All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for attending in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.